welcome to the Gippsland Art Gallery, wherever you are and whenever you are. My name is Simon Gregg, and as a director of the gallery, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our first ever virtual opening. Today, we announce the winners of the 2020 John Leslie Art Prize. It's very strange having an opening without an audience, I have to say, but we do have a small crowd here to cheer us on. We wish you could all be here in person with us to experience this spectacular exhibition. And we hope that the lockdown of Melbourne and Victoria lifts in time that you can physically get here. Together, if we all do the right thing and follow advice from the Victorian government, we'll all get through this together. I would like to thank the many artists who entered this year's prize. We received a total of 409 entries from all parts of Australia. And with the help of the Age newspaper art critic, Robert Nelson, we have narrowed the field down to 50 finalists whose work is on the walls around me. Robert couldn't be here to judge the prize himself this year because of the COVID restrictions, but he sends his very best wishes to everybody. With Robert's blessing, the prize this year has been judged by myself and senior gallery staff. The John Leslie Art Prize is named after our late gallery patron, Mr. John Leslie, OBE. Through the continuing support of the John Leslie Foundation, the prize has continued and is now in its 11th year, having been run every second year since the year 2000. We thank the John Leslie Foundation for their generous continuing support of the prize, which is, uh, again, $20,000 acquisitive prize for landscape painting. Now to announce the winner of this year's prize and also for the best Gippsland work, it gives me a pleasure to introduce Wellington Shire Council Mayor, Councillor Alan Hall. Thank you. Over to you, Alan. Thanks, Simon. Um, I'll try not to repeat some of the good things that you've said, but to add some others. Can I start by simply acknowledging the traditional custodians of this land, the Gunai Kurnai people? And pay, and pay respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. I will repeat it, since uh, 2020 marks the 20th year since the first John Leslie Art Prize uh, commenced in 2020. Uh, and the prize, of course, was started by John himself, who was a great art lover and local philanthropist. Since John's passing, his foundation, the John Leslie Foundation, has continued his legacy through this prize. We acknowledge and thank the John Leslie Foundation for its continued support of this great art prize. And many past winners have gone on to great things. I think it's probably appropriate at this time to also add the incredible support from the whole art community as, as we recently witnessed on the back of the bushfires where through the initiation of our fabulous staff here at the Gippsland Art Gallery and the support from the, from the arts community across the, the length and breadth of this country, for some, uh, uh, some monies in excess of $160,000 was, was raised to support those people who'd been directly impacted by the bushfires. And that level of support is a great reflection of the arts community and, and, and their desire to make sure that this is just, that we live in a better place. As Simon said, this year's prize attracted some 409 entries from 334 artists and that 50 paintings have been shortlisted by 48. So that means a couple of them snuck in a couple as well. As mentioned, ju the judge was Robert Nelson, the art critic for the age, but he, in fact, with delegation and with the restrictions of COVID-19, the selection panel, of course, was Simon, our, our wonderful gallery director, along with our fabulous curator, curator Erin Matthews, um, and they then, in fact, selected um, the winner and the Gippsland Prize. So, as we noted, the prize is acquisitive, so the winning work automatically enters the gallery collection forever. So I'm looking forward now to the information, Simon. Should I, in fact, proceed to announce the, uh, open the envelope like you do with the Logies? I didn't, they didn't have one of those this year, so we're, still, we're ahead of them. And can I announce that the winner of the John Leslie Art Prize is Sarah Tomasetti.
And if I might now hand over virtually to Sarah to say a few words in regard to the process that got her here. Thank you. Councillor Alan Hall and Director Simon Gregg and Erin Matthews and the whole team at Gippsland Art Gallery, thank you so, so much for this extraordinary opportunity. I feel um, incredibly honoured to be the recipient of this year's prize and also to be hanging amongst so many artists that I admire. Uh, it's, it's an extraordinary privilege, um, so thank you. Um, what we'd really like to be doing tonight is, um, is gathering, gathering together. I think especially in the wake of the bushfires it feels like a time when we want to be gathering together as a community of artists and witnessing the regeneration of both community and land, which is really what we're about but given that we can't do that um, I'm, I'm here in my studio which is right near the Merry Creek and on Orangery land and I'd like to acknowledge the uh, the elders past present and emerging of the Kulin nations um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the time when we might be able to gather again I think that feels so important at the moment um, I would like to thank the John Leslie Foundation uh, I think events of this scale are so important to us as a community of artists. It, it's an opportunity to make work on a scale that's designed to be seen in a magnificent uh, museum scale space like the Gippsland Art Gallery and, it, it, and to be seen by a much wider audience than, than perhaps we usually get the opportunity to, to reach. So that is another enormous privilege. Also, the collection at the Gippsland Art Gallery has, um, alongside its focus on contemporary art, has an emphasis on the natural world. And so it's a collection I feel deeply aligned with and just so delighted to be a part of. So thank you. Um, the team at Gippsland Art Gallery, it's, it's so, so much work behind the scenes to mount an exhibition of this scale, both um, staff and, and volunteers. Uh, who just worked tirelessly to make these things possible, I want to thank you as well. And I'm, um, again, uh, Simon Aaron and the whole team and Councillor Alan Hall, thank you so, so much for this opportunity and I look forward to the time when we can gather again. Thank you. And now it's my absolute pleasure to announce the best Gippsland artwork in the John Leslie Art Prize. And the winner in that category goes to Linda Gibbs. So well done, Linda. Over to you for just a few short words on how we uh, found you in this wonderful space. Thanks, Linda. land. Thank you to everyone at the gallery and Robert for this award. It means a great deal to me uh, being a South Gippsland resident. Uh, the painting itself came from nowhere really. I didn't have any preconceived idea about what I was painting. Just wrestled the paint and hope for the best to tell you the truth. Um, I do spend a lot of time in the field, working in the field, so it's possibly, as I look at it, it could be elements from various landscapes around South Gippsland. Um, I have met John Leslie on a number of occasions and I'm very grateful for this support through his ongoing legacy. So thank you very much and I hope we can all see the show at the gallery soon. Thank you. Bye. So to Simon, all the crew at the gallery, all those people who again participated in this, for John, John Leslie and his legacy to his foundation, for everyone who's been involved, this is an amazing exhibition. So whilst we've got to observe all the appropriate social distancing requirements, make the opportunity to get along. I've wandered through. The exhibition is amazing and a credit to all those people who submitted. Thanks very much. Cheers.